What's up guys, Duck Tape Dragon here and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make a painting out of the old graffiti duct tape right here. So this is what the duct tape looks like itself and you'll obviously need the old graffiti duct tape for this tutorial. So and I know the old graffiti is going out of print right now so not the best time to make a tutorial but I'm still going to make it. So right here this is what the painting is going to look like. It's going to be just the graffiti tape all lined up really nicely and it's going to have a colored border around it. So and I'll show you how to make this in just a minute. So I'm going to make the background of the painting first because I just think it's a lot easier. So you're going to cut out a piece of paper cardboard that is 7 by 6 inches and I'm using paper because I just don't have any good cardboard right now but it, cardboard is definitely going to work a lot better so you're going to cut out a piece of paper that is 6 by 7 inches so then you're going to cut out a strip that you want your background color to be you're going to cut out four strips, one for each side and then the strip is probably going to be like an half an inch to an inch longer than the side so you can see it's a bit longer and then peel that up <coughs> and stick it on about a quarter of an inch. It doesn't really have to be even. Just stick it on and flip it over and just still have all of the sticky. And then you're just gonna fold it over. And I don't know if it's just my paper, but the duct tape peels off it like super easy. So I don't know why. I think it's actually pretty nice. So do it so it's gonna have like a really nice smooth edge and it doesn't matter that it's like all crooked on the background. You can cover the background if you want to. And then just cut off all that extra like that and then apply the rest of the pieces. And once you've done that it should look like this and you can obviously cover up this square but it's not gonna change anything. So you got the border all the way around and then and then turn that on four sides and then push them on the back. You can cover up the back if you want to. I'm not going to cover it up and you don't have to. So on the painting. So you're going to take your roll and start. And open it up. So mine it starts like right here you can see that it starts with the bricks on the bottom but if your roll starts like in the middle of a picture you're going to have to cut it off till the next row of bricks you're going to start off with a roll, roll, roll of bricks I can't talk and then you're going to place it on your cutting mat and then I started placing it on the cutting mat not on the <clears throat> background because it's just easier and then you're going to see where the, the so see bricks picture bricks so then you're gonna cut it off right here and then you're going to take the next piece and line them up It looks like it's lined up, and then you find the next path of bricks right here, and you cut it off. Like that. And I got the idea to make this video from duct tape stuff. And then I'm going to take the next strip and I'll go at it again. Then you're gonna cut it off at the bricks again. And then on this one, the bricks kind of jump like super low. So just like work your way around it. Like that. Yeah, I need a new blade in my exacto knife. And then you're going to 
do, I believe, the last one. So once you have it like this, you're probably going to have like a line right here in the middle and then the painting not finished. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut straight down the middle. Well not really straight but you can work your way around the pictures. Like that. So you're going to get it down the middle of the bricks and you're gonna peel one side out and like always it says now I'm gonna fit on my cutting mat but I'm just gonna peel it one side now hopefully do what I just did and then you're gonna attach it to the other side stick it out with all the other strips And now you're done with the mural itself, and now on to the actual painting part. What you want to do is you want to put it down and just kind of like cut a trim on it, I guess. And just like make kind of like an even brick border all the way around like this. So, uh, I'm just really not good at cutting today, so you can see that I kind of made a border right there. So, <clears throat> we're going to do that for all the way around the picture, and then come back to the video. So, once you're done making the trim, it should look like this, and then I'm going to really carefully peel the whole thing up. So you don't want any little parts off. Like this, so uh, you can see it has trim all the way around. Like that. So now you're going to take this piece. And then you're just going to stick it right on top of it. And make sure you're sticking it on the part you're supposed to be sticking. Make sure you aren't sticking it on the back or anything. So, and that looks... Just like this. So now I have your painting done and it should look something like this. Well you're also not gonna have the same background unless you use the same color I did. So you can kinda see that the background color totally like, changes the feel of the painting. This one's kinda like nice and light and happy and this one's like all dark and kinda like evil. So this concludes the tutorial on how to make a painting out of the or graffiti duct tape. I hope you like this video and please comment down below if you have any ideas on what I should make next. Like any tutorials, crafts, doesn't matter, just comment down below. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.